Good morning and welcome to the morning coffee with John Passa. 32 days under confinement, still working from home and looking at market trends. Today, I'm focusing on the US bank results. When they released their results, JP Morgan, Citigroup, Bank of America, and Goldman Sachs all announced a sharp decline in their profit and painted a bleak picture of the US economy brought by the coronavirus pandemic setting aside billions of dollars to cover an expected avalanche of outstanding loans from individuals and businesses. While nearly 12 years after the financial crisis, however, uh, the major U.S. banks have made it clear that they have sufficient liquidity to withstand the current health crisis, there is uh, still great deals of doubt. Even though the duration of the coming recession remain, remains unclear and is a function of how quickly the coronavirus vaccine will develop, it is more likely that total loan losses will match, if not surpass, what happens in 2008, especially since this time the, that the crisis is global and not only US-based. 12 years ago, most banks reserved total losses anywhere between 4 to 6% of total loans. This time around, so far, it is actually less than 2%. So put that all in context. So far, the big four US banks have reserved an additional 24 billion in Q1 for future losses. But referring to the last financial crisis, banks will have to take over 75 to 100 billion in reserve on loan that go bad, whipping out years of profit. At the end, the Fed, once again, might have to step in and bail out the U.S. financial sector. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Stay safe and please read my morning.